All right, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com to do another exciting episode for you. And in this episode, actually, I'm at a car. I have no electricity nearby. You can hear probably some kind of generator running some cooler. I'm actually traveling right now. And I want to show you guys actually how you guys could juice, even if you travel, right? Just because you travel doesn't mean you can't be juicing. You can't take your lifestyle on the road. It's super important. I mean, I travel with uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and freeze-dried vegetables. So I always have something to eat. And here in the middle of this campground, um, I'm going to be juicing out of the car. So let me show you guys how to do that, right? So uh, basically what you're going to need are a couple things. You're going to need, number one, a juicer to juice with. Today I'm happening to use a Claristine, like a vertical single auger juicer. This is like a cheap juicer I bought for like 50 bucks on Amazon because I'm traveling. And if I want to give it to somebody when I, you know, before I go home, that's great. And I'm sure it's going to work because I've tested these style before, but I don't know that I'd, you know, keep this and buy this forever because it's probably not too good of a juicer. It's going to probably put more pulp in the juice, all this kind of stuff. And, but the other reason why I got it is because it is a low wattage juicer. Very important, right? You're not going to be using a Vitamix probably in your car, or you're not going to be using one of those high speed Breville juicers that has a, you know, thousand watt or 800 watt motor. You need to get a slow juicer. So I'd recommend if you want to juice when you're traveling on the road and you're going to be using it out of your car to get a juicer with like a uh, 150 watts would be best, maybe 200 watts, but not much more because your car battery can't really handle it. Um, the other thing you're going to need, and luckily this car has it built in, is a power port, right? So we're just going to go ahead and take our standard plug, and in this car we have a little power jack right here, and we're going to plug that in. So luckily this car has a power outlet uh, built in the car, but if your car doesn't have a power outlet, that's all right. You guys could buy a power inverter, and I would recommend a 300 continuous um, watt inverter for your car. So maybe rated at actually at 500 watts and it's 300 continuous and that should easily run like a low wattage uh, juicer. Uh, generally the low speed juicers will work for this. So once you got it plugged in, you can just turn this on. As you guys can see, the juicer is running. So we got our uh, catch cups here. We're just gonna set this up. I got a bunch of uh, uh, pre-cut produce, very important on a vertical juicer. You gotta be pre-cutting your greens and things like your celery. So we're just gonna dump this in here and see how this juicer does. All right, so you guys can see that going in there. The juicer grinding it up and uh, let's drop a couple of cucumbers in there. You can slowly see the juice coming out. Juicing in the car when I'm traveling. So I'm just about done juicing the car. I have a few more pieces of celery that I'm going to put in. And so far, I got to say that this juicer is pretty much run fine without any issues. Probably put a bunch of pulp in the juice because it's like a low end juicer, but it's worked great. Um, what I want to do here is uh, show you guys actually the fiber it created. So here's like a bunch of fiber. Now to me, this fiber, this is like a really heavy jug. If I take this out and squeeze, you can see like really like, look, there's a lot of juice coming out of there. This is not really an efficient juicer. But that's all right, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pulp and run it back through the machine. And uh, we're gonna run this through and we're gonna tell you uh, how it works and if it just gets jammed up or clogged or if I actually made more juice. All right, so here's the last bit of the pulp going through the juicer there. And as you guys can see, some of it is actually working through the machine but a lot of it is actually just kind of being stuck in the machine and it actually is not coming out. But as you guys can see, I'm actually getting a good significant amount more of juice. So of course I'd recommend you guys to buy a, a, a better brand juicer, but if, if 50 bucks is all you got, I mean, this one seems to work. Although, you know, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the long-term durability of this machine. I just need to be using it on this trip here. This is a pretty light duty machine and has a really, really short warranty. But anyways, the point of this video was to show you guys that actually you can juice in a car when you travel using a power inverter or if your car has a built-in inverter. It's totally great. Let's go ahead and uh, shut this baby off and close this spout. And uh, check this out, man. 
I've juiced out of a car before, but this is the first time I've done it actually on camera. I've even juiced on boats with my friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can make juice anywhere. So just because you're traveling, um, don't believe that you gotta stop your juice diet or you gotta spend like 10 bucks for a juice at a local store. <laughs> you guys could easily do it when you travel with a uh, low RPM, low wattage uh, juicer. And we're gonna go ahead and try this fresh juice I made today. Mm. Quite good, celery, cucumber. One of my favorites, I'm gonna probably blend this up with an avocado, maybe some uh, kimchi, sauerkraut, and uh, some lettuce, and that's gonna be my dinner tonight. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. Just wanna encourage you guys to not stop juicing when you're traveling, and you can easily juice out of a car. If you wanna get the right juicer for you that will work out of a car, please be sure to check the links down below and contact me for a personal consult so I can share with you guys what juicer will work the best. Just be sure to let me know what you wanna juice, that you will be doing out of a car a lot and um, you know some of the other features in a juicer that are important to you and I'll be glad to help you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know, also leave your questions and comments down below. I generally check the questions and try to reply, um, you know, usually within the next week after I publish the video, but if this video has been up for a while, then I, I apologize, I can't check every one of my videos. There's only one of me. Um, also be sure to uh, click that subscribe button right down below and be sure you click that bell notification so you get notified of my new and upcoming episodes. I've coming out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what juicer or where in the world I'll be juicing or uh, demonstrating vacuum blenders, uh, dehydrators, and pretty soon uh, the freeze dryers. Also be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 500 episodes at this time of uh, comparing and contrasting different juicers so that you guys can get the right one for you. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.